Hello guys, welcome to Digital Dex today. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my personal opinion on the Canon 60D as to why it's still a good camera to use in 2020, despite it being 10 years old. It was released on August 26, 2010. It means it's 10 years old, but then I know you'd be thinking it's a, a very old camera. What can it provide in 2020? Well, this camera, it shoots 18 megapixels. It shoots videos at 1080p. 30 frames per second and um, it's the camera that I'm currently using right now to record this video indoors without any additional lightning I'm just using the light or the sunlight coming out from the window right in front of me and uh, definitely I'm using an external mic but then I'll share with you guys all the features of this camera so you may consider buying it because it's really affordable and also it's uh, hard to get any camera at this price range with all the features that I'm going to share with you guys that this camera has but then please 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 make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you end up liking this video make sure you hit the like button and also share it with your friends who might find it helpful if you are a new youtuber you may consider getting this camera well it has a swivel screen which I'm using right now to record and I'm also looking at myself currently so this camera let's dive into the details and what this camera can offer i'm currently recording with this camera okay the canon 60d shoots up to 1920 by 1080p which is still a really nice resolution even in 2020 at 30 frames per second it shoots 18 megapixel photos and supports raw format. It has a fully articulated LCD screen, which is very important for someone who will be making YouTube videos because you can be able to see yourself in the flipped LCD screen. It's three inch in size. It has an external mic port for better audio quality, which is very important for YouTube videos or any project so you can do away with all the noises. External mic support and flip up screen are one of the most important things that recent cameras don't have altogether. Not to mention environmental ceiling, which means it can withstand some splashes of water or some harsh environmental conditions, but that doesn't mean it's waterproof. Sturdy build quality, which also gives a premium look and feel to it compared to most recent cameras that looks and feel like toys. It has an inbuilt flash which you can use to snap in dark places without having to buy external flash except if you want to go all pro. I personally don't have to buy external flash and it supports wireless remote for taking shots and starting and stopping video recordings getting one so far made my work easy as i no longer have to worry about cameras shaking or taking shots or stopping and starting a video it happens sometimes even when it's on a tripod touching that start button and stop shakes the video or shakes the image so it has an external flash show or sync port too which you can use to mount other things to your camera like mics or lights with other things the sync port allows external flash to connect directly to your camera just by attaching it. It has a top LCD display at the top which helps make changing image or video settings easier. Its battery is one of the strongest rated 1800 mAh and can take up to 1100 images per charge. The battery it comes with lasts long in a single charge of course if you planning to shoot for longer period you'll need extra batteries but for images 1800 mAh battery can last almost a whole day for you so let's get into the cons of the canon 60d since the canon 60d isn't the perfect camera it must have some limitations which involves it not being able to shoot at more than 1080p 30 frames per second but you can shoot 720 at 60 frames per second but 720 really isn't up to standard for me in 2020 though it depends what you'll need higher frame rate or fps for most movies are shot at 24 frames per second or 30 maximum 
you'll need higher FPS for smooth slow motion scene at a higher resolution. It doesn't have stabilization of any kind so when shooting handheld it's up to you to move really slow or smoothly to avoid too much shake in the footage. Of course with time you'll get better at it or you can buy stabilizer for better stabilization while you move and record. Use tripod for shooting videos like this to avoid shakes. It doesn't have touchscreen and no wireless connection. And here are samples of images I took. If you are considering buying a high-end camera, except if it's for something else that will require upgrade, I'll advise you stick to your 60D's body and invest more in buying lenses and other gears. It makes the most difference compared to changing the whole camera. So if you're wondering as a new YouTuber whether to buy the Canon 60D, definitely go for it and invest more in lenses and your ability to create or take photographs. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like this video, make sure you hit the like button underneath this video. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and uh, also share with your friends. I love you guys so much. Do have a nice day.